how does one change the factory default username of admin and password of admin, all uppercase, on Supermicro systems like the X10 SDV motherboard featured in this picture above that's on a Xeon D 1541 Supermicro Super Server system. Now this upper left port is generally unlabeled by Supermicro on their bare bones systems that ship with no backplate label. So this is a label I made and I'm telling you in the upper left corner, if you plug that in, it has a dedicated IP address. So let's point a browser there. This is the easiest way to change the password. You don't need a command line utility. You don't need a Windows download to do it. I'm going to put on caps lock here and I'm still at factory defaults on this particular system. All right, next piece would be to go to configuration and go to users. And now we have a list and user number two is admin. So I'm going to click on modify that user and I can then change the username if I'd like and I can change the password right here. So let's say I do probably something a little more obscure to make it harder for someone to do a brute force attack would be wise. And you probably want upper, lower, all the usual password complexity rules you'd want to set. So I've now modified that. Now, is that a good idea? <laughs> You've got to keep track of this. All right, so success. Great. Now I'm going to log out and log back in. Actually, let's just first try with the old. Fails. And I'm in. So that's it. Ah, but wait, not so fast. What if you have some regret some hours, days, weeks later? You're logging back in and you decide you don't like the password length that you set? Well, if we go back in here to users and modifying user ID too, watch what happens if we try to go all the way back to factory default for both username and password. So you could actually copy and paste this right here, all uppercase. Trying to go back to factory defaults, watch what happens is this, showstopper. Password must be eight characters long. So you're out of luck. Has nothing to do with your username, it's all about the password length. Or are you? Now there are ways through IPMI tools at the command line where you could uh, brush up in your command line skills. I believe there's an IPMI uh, GUI tool that's kind of old from Supermicro. You might be able to get this done as well. Uh, but frankly, your easiest would probably be Um, factory defaults. There you go. So IPMI would go all the way back to factory defaults. You'd lose all your settings. That would be uh, one way to get all the way back to factory default settings and thus restoring your uppercase admin and admin. And let's see, on this test system, am I comfortable doing that? Have I made any significant changes to IPMI? Um, not really. So I'm going to actually lose settings and it's only changing IPMI settings and it's going to take about a minute for it to get back to factory defaults. Now the operational state of the system, which I believe I had powered on, that's unaffected. Now if you made any changes like turn on HTTPS or anything else, you would have to fix that again. So I'm back at factory defaults and now I'm back in with the factory default username and password. So that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry, IT at home.